response to Sam Shimon Keith Truth on the discussion about us and this is a series about is Allah Satan. Now I just want to point everyone to the little uh, discussion that's you know it's kind of like a little conversation right now Sam and Keith are saying that I'm just talk that I'm evading a face-to-face uh, face -face discussion in 2008 I made a, a request for a moderated discussion with Sam Shimon my argument is that 2008 was quite a few years ago and that I've learned what that, what, what kind of person Sam Shimon is. I'm sure most people on YouTube have learned what kind of person he is. And that I've said it's better to debate and discuss on YouTube where I have time to research what he attacks with. So now let's go because the Christians are already claiming a victory and that's very early and they're already trying to lay in the ground the rules and so on and so forth you know Sam Shimon uh, you know kind of trying to you know stay like oh you're using Islamic awareness or uh, you know articles I've already refuted those and so on because I posted an article and I want people to go to Islam Dunk, Islam Dunk TV dot, uh, dot com and see the article from Islamic awareness about the issue of Hubal and it's, whether it's Allah is Hubal or not and you be the judge okay now am I gonna use the whole article I've done research I know why from before I knew but now I'm just gonna use the arguments from here and there not just from Islamic awareness I, you know Sam Shimon is using arguments from wherever he wants to but just look and let's see number one the methodology we're also gonna look into the methodology of Sam Shimon and Keith Truth we're gonna look in their methodology I mean they're using whatever they want and then they're trying to restrict me from using whatever I want I mean is that fair now I do apologize because obviously my videos will have to take a bit longer time than uh, what Keith has been making because there has so many arguments that is thrown there now going from Satan to Hubal to Trinity to Old Testament so not, not a problem not a problem but I will pause the uh, recording once in a while I will have to stop and move on to the next videos I will kind of go in between videos and I will start and I want to take everyone back to where this all started because this will help us understand. So I want to take everyone back to my discussion with someone called Red Missionary. And the issue is I quoted John 3.16 in Arabic and using the word Allah. Now Red Missionary, this person, was saying, was talking about the name Allah and how these pagan Arabs were using the name Allah. And he's trying to draw a parallel because we're using Allah now um, that they're somehow that there's somehow we're worshiping the Muslims are worshiping the same you know distorted and perverted God that they would call and you know whatever they would think of Allah I'm not even gonna go into what the the uh, old the what the old uh, Arabs the pre-islamic Arabs were thinking about Allah but but basically trying to say well they're using the same one it's an idol it's a pagan it's a moon god it's a hubal it's many things and therefore because his name is Allah and you guys name is Allah therefore it's the same so I just used the name Allah to show it's in the Bible to show that people have used it for many things before just the word Allah that was my point look at what I'm saying They call God Allah, and so did the pre uh, pre Islamic Arabs and people before them. Since the time the Arabic was around, uh, people called God the creator of heavens and earth Allah. And I challenge you to go and read the Quran and think otherwise. Now, notice I'm using the, I'm talking about the Arabic, then I go and talking about the Aramaic. I'm talking about from a language perspective. Now, I challenge Sam and Keith and whoever to bring any kind of proof where I said that the God, the doctrine of Islam is the same as the doctrine of Christians. Sam has taken that and has talked and said, well, you know, Allah is actually Satan. And we are going to examine the rebuttal. And I want to start with video number two because there's something interesting. They're making a parallel now between Hubal, which was one of the idols of the Quraysh, and they're trying to say Hubal is Allah, Hubal is an idol, which you know Satan tried to put in there to misguide people from the true God with the Christians and the Jews. Because Keith, and it's very important to highlight this, Keith keeps referring to the God of the Christians and the Jews. This whole Judeo-Christian idea that the two are the same, you know, basically that they have the same God, you know, the Jews and the Christians. 
Now, Keith, can you bring us to anyhow and any from anywhere that Jews today are worshipping Trinity? In order to mislead people away from the true God of the Holy Bible. Therefore, the Allah of Islam is Satan, since Muhammad claimed it was the same Allah as the pagans. That is the argument. Once more. I am aware of the the law was nothing more than a concoction of Satan in order to mislead people away from the true God of the Holy Bible. ولكننا نعبد الله الواحد ومن بدايتها أقول لأطمئن حبيبنا المسلم وأحبانا المسلمين جميعهم أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله لا شريك له Alaha, Isho, Mshicha, Mshichuta, Maria. Alaha, Isho, Mshicha, Alaha, 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 Isho, Alaha. Allah 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 Therefore the Allah of Islam is Satan since Muhammad claimed it was the same Allah as the pagans that is the ar argument that is the argument it says that is the argument so now did Muhammad sallallahu claim that Allah was the same Allah of the pagans that basically that he was Hubal that he was the same exact one that Hubal and Allah are the same did he claim that hey what you guys think of Allah is exactly my God and what I think of Allah is your God all right all right and Keith goes on to say that the only problem was actually, the only problem was that, you know, the Quraysh were just associating partners with Allah. They were just associating partners with Allah. That, that was the only problem. The issue of Allah was not the issue, you know. The, uh, the, the Quraysh claiming that Hubal is Allah, Muhammad claiming that Allah is Allah, and that is the same as the, the Quraysh Allah, therefore, Muhammad claims that Allah is is Hubal pretty much that's the logic that's the reason that's the argument of Keith truth now pay attention he quoted just before now quoted a bunch of verses stating that that basically people associating partners with Allah Surah 2391 393 and so on and then he goes on to say that contradict these verses to Ubal. Since watch very very simple way to destroy his argument. Now Keith, don't cry. Sam, don't cry. Don't jump around. Don't jump and up and down because Keith, obviously speaking for Sam, says this is the argument. This is the argument. Allah and Hubal, right? Basically, Muhammad thought that Allah, his Allah, is the same as the Christ. The issue, and I want people, and I'm always stressing this out, go and read the Qur'an. Go and read the Qur'an. This would help you a lot. This would help you a lot to understand, right? Every time, and you will find, Prophet Muhammad is calling people to the worship of the Creator. 
is calling people to the worship of the one that they should worship. So basically he's saying, Allah is your God. I'm telling you who Allah is. I came to clean up the mess that you thought was Allah with all these idols, having daughters, having so on and so on, sons and so on, including Christianity, having sons, including parts of Judaism and so on, and so claiming that Uzair is Allah's son, including so people claiming that Mary is also divine, including many, 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 many other issues. That's what Prophet Muhammad came. He did not say, hey, hey you're Allah, my Allah, we're good, man. But we just need to like get rid of those partners? No. That's why, for example, when the Prophet said, talking about Ar-Rahman, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, in one of the treaties. And the Quraysh says, who is this Ar-Rahman? We don't know this Ar-Rahman, right? Asma wa Sifat. Not the same. Because key truth, and I really commend you for quite a good pronunciation and you know knowledge of Asma wa Sifat and Tawheed al and Uluya and so on and so forth. But as you used it, they were wrong. They said, we don't know this Ar-Rahman. Who is this Ar-Rahman? Here we go. It's two, four. Let's pull out a very, very nice argument. This is a hadith in Bukhari. And now, be careful. Because Sam, in throughout his shows, he always attacks he attacks Islam through Bukhari and Muslim so on and so forth. So Sam has to accept this as proof against his argument. On the day of better, the people and his companions, the prophet and companions had caused the pagans to lose 140 men, 70 of whom were captured, 70 were killed. Then Abu Sufyan asked thrice, they're they sitting on different mountains. This is during the battle of uh, Uhud. And he says, what did he say? Abu Sufyan asked, is Muhammad present among these people? The Prophet orders companions not to answer. Then he asked thrice, is the son of Abu Quhafa present among these people? He asked again thrice, is the son of Al-Khattab present among these people? He then returned to his companion and says, as for these men, they have been killed. Omar could not control himself and said to Abu Sufyan, you told a lie by Allah, O enemy of Allah, enemy of Allah. That he say, hey, you know, you guys have the same Allah, you're an enemy of Allah. All those you have mentioned are alive, and that which will make you unhappy is still there. Prophet said, Abu Sufyan said, our victory today is counterbalanced to yours in the battle of Badr, and in war is always undecided and is shared in terms by the belligerents, and you will find some of your killed men mutilated. And I did not urge my men to do so, yet I do not feel sorry for their deed. After that, he started reciting cheerfully, Oh, Huba, be high. Ooh, now hold on a second. The Prophet said, look at this. He says, look for up right here. What does the Prophet say? Okay. He says, basically, don't answer. Don't answer to him. Don't answer to him. Okay, basically saying, don't answer to him. But then Omar Khattab could not hold anymore, right? He could not hold it anymore. He says, the Prophet ordered his companions not to answer him. Not to answer him. However, when they're saying about people, they're insulting. But look now what he's saying. He's saying, Oh Huba, Oh Huba, Oh Huba, be high on that. The Prophet says, he can't take it. He cannot take it. Why don't you answer him back? Now he says the Prophet. And then Omar says, What should I say? Allah, Allah is the Prophet. He says, Say Allah is higher and more sublime. Abu then Abu Sufyan says, We have the idol, Al Uzza, and you have no Uzza. Again, he's trying to bring an idol. The Prophet said to his companion, Why don't you answer back? They said, Well, Allah is the Prophet. What should we say? He says, Say Allah is our helper. You have no helper. You have no helper. So look at that. Now, did the Prophet Sallallahu say, ah, you know, Hubal, I mean, I can't insult Hubal because, I mean, that's really Allah. So how can Hubal be the same as, as Allah? How, what kind of perverted argument and perverted rationale can someone bring and say that Hubal and I are the same, um, you know, basically, and, and you know, this what the missionaries do, uh, they'll, you know, they try to draw the parallel between, how can you say that Allah and Hubal is the same when the Prophet Sallallahu gets angry, Allah is greater than whatever you guys talking about. Okay, are they the same? 
No. Now, did the Quraysh 